Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Apothony, and Brett Thomas Thomas once again. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have a match for you. Brett, walk us through these team comps. They are wild. Well, before I say anything, I will mention that both teams have brought a flagship. For ABA, it's a flagship Lesha. For Centipede Caliphate, it's a flagship Navy Scorpion. ABA have brought Kronos, Lesha, with a Genosis and an Ashimu as support. So that they're looking for those really high damage battleships. Whereas Centipede have brought Navy Scorpion, Widow, Rook, Falcon. Which means they're dishonourable ECCM. ECM. Yeah, I mean, it's all going to be about where they put these jams. If the jams land, I mean, does that Pontifex have an info link on it? You know, they do not have a lot of links on this team, right? It's only the Pontifex and the Gnosis that can dump them. And if they don't have an info link, they're going to be in a lot, lot, lot of trouble. Looks like we have a jam going on the Shack, Gnosis, Ashimu, a Nero snare being jammed out. Let's see how effective this has as the Banda Park team just goes, screw your ECM, we're just barreling in, going for it all deep. And uh, Vedmac looks like it's taking a lot of damage here on the Evander Park side. To start it's, with. it's important to mention that the Scimitar looks like it's a Tinker. It is sitting at zero, not moving fast. It's getting cap boosters from everything. Yet yeah, it is definitely a Tinker, which is something you don't see from Scimitars a lot. Yeah, I mean, typically you go for a Bazzi for Tinker just because it's got more mids and you just really need to pump all the local tank you can there. But, you know, it's, it's, it's holding for now. And do remember that the Kronos as a Mulder has a really low innate resistance to being jammed. So it would not surprise me if that thing is jammed all to hell. And we can see that the jams are being affected because there's just no damage going on for the Centipede Caliphate team. Although, given that they're all taking a bit of damage, it looks like we got smart bombs here for any drones that are being problematic. You're also seeing fireworks being launched out by somebody. Somebody has brought a firework launcher to the AT. That is, I believe, a first. Yep, I, I, I don't think it's a first, but it's certainly very exciting. And we've got that Vedmac now just barely hanging on, maintaining about mid-armor. Uh, no other heavy damage going down. Vexer of Mark on the ABA side, uh, down through its shields, but you know it's an armor tank team, so it doesn't really matter. Both teams just positioning, trying to maneuver themselves into a place where they can actually get their first kill. The firework launcher is on the Widow. So that we do have a Widow with a firework launcher. Nice. I mean, what else are you going to put in the highs? Maybe damage. Maybe small bombs. Yeah, maybe something actually useful. Oh, Rook suddenly taking a ton of damage there. Reps landing quickly, but oh, is it? It looks like they're. Oh, the Kronos is no longer jammed. Kronos is not jammed. You can get its DPS out. And who boy does a Kronos do a lot of damage if you uh, let it? And yet, that Rook is already in low armor. Starfleet structure 2. It looks like we've got uh, reps on. That Scimitar is taking a lot of damage as well. Oh, yes. to locally boost. Oh, Neurox is starting taking damage from ABA. It's a null lot, but it's starting to drop through shields. Hopefully they can get enough damage down to break this Oneros, because if the Oneros drops, uh, Centipede can just slowly start breaking the rest of the team. Yeah, I mean, you know, that might be a panic call. They say, ah, the rope's going down, quick, uh, get, kill the Lottie, kill the Lottie, we're out of time, we got to do something. But, you know, it's it's holding, it's doing fine, but that Frook is bleeding structure, man. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah, a band apart did the very smart thing of swapping to a Manticore for two shots and making the Siri choose between saving a Rook and saving a Manticore, and I believe he chose the wrong decision and saved the Manticore. Yep, uh, Manticore looks like it's next. That Aeneas is taking some damage. Uh, it looks like he's just holding off and running his rep just for now because he's got an AR, so that means only a number of boosts. Then you have a local rep that you can just run. Who knows? I don't know how these nerds fit their shits. Uh, but yeah, so we have that Vulcan now through some of its shield. Um, I mean, like like I said in the last ECM match, as soon as you lose your first ECM ship, that's the most important. You have so many fewer jams available. But up, oh, it is getting wrecked back up. Looks like jams have relanded. Uh, Kronos back jammed again. That seems to be the main source of damage. All right, but all that Manticore though, getting really, really low. Yeah, it's managed one to of the safe. things about jamming a Lashak is that it takes so long to spool up its damage. If you could just jam it every other cycle, it's never really going to reach that maximum damage out that it's capable of. Yeah, it managed to keep it alive. If you notice the Manticore slowly bleeding back armor it does have armor bots on it just a flight of five smalls so hopefully that's going to give it enough butter to keep alive next time it drops through but we're seeing the falcon dropping too low oh we're seeing the oneros drop into low armor as well as the falcon into low shields if centipede can kill this oneros the ecm can possibly keep them alive 
Yeah, I mean, it's going to have to happen soon because that Falcon's going down into structure. Oh, it's getting some reps, but it's so close. The next volley from something big may just take it down. Oh, Manticore lost in the meantime. Scimitar focusing on the Falcon, and they take out the Manticore. Oh, this is supposed to be such a hard job for Psy4 here. Tinker Logic is so very difficult, but he's just managing to keep that Falcon alive. If that Falcon goes down, it is the end of their hope, I think, for it remaining in the winner's bracket. The important thing to notice is the huge amount of rep bots on this Oneros. They haven't been able to kill them, so the Oneros is passively staying alive through rep bots, and mostly because it's only being webbed once, it is able to mitigate enough damage that the, the, the armor bots can just keep it alive completely, which is completely shutting down Centipede Caliphate. I mean, I think one of the main issues here that we haven't really pointed out yet is what actually is the damage output for the Caliphate team? They have a Scorp Navy and a Nemesis. And how do you kill an Aneros with torpedoes and cruise missiles? Exactly, which is why we're seeing the focus now swap to the Leshak. And this especially is a Flag Leshak, so it's going to be quite hard to kill. We're seeing the Nemesis finally go down, so the only thing left with damage really is the Scorpion. And maybe the Widow has some unbonus damage. Yep. That, uh, that Falcon as well, it's webbed, it's grappled, it's muted, it's nos, it's scrammed. I mean, I, I, I don't know even if it has the cap to actually do its jams at the moment. We're seeing very few jams on the uh, Abandoned Park team. That might just be the Kitsune, with the Falcon just unable to do anything at all. Uh, and now we have a scram web nos on the Kitsune, so that might be going down soon as well. Yeah, we're now seeing them all focus on the Scimitar. The Scimitar is dropping into low shields. That is very surprising for a Tinker Scimitar to just be taken that low, as we see its shields go completely to 100%. Yeah, one boost back up to max. It looks like it may possibly be an Ansil, which is strange for a Tinker. Which is very strange for a Tinker. Yep, so uh, that Sim is going to run out of boosts eventually. Uh, and when it does, it is going down, and I think it is fair to say that Centipede will be losing this match unless they pull a miracle out. Yeah, definitely. They just brought a comp which would be very strong, but didn't bring any damage. They went, yes, we've got a lot of control, we've got a lot of defense, this is perfect, and forgot about the most important thing in the Lions tournament, killing your opponent. As we see the yeah. Scimitar drop into half structure as it boosted up, it's having to boost now constantly to stay alive. Not dying is a very important skill to have, but not and dying is not the same as winning. Yeah, that's definitely true. We see the Scimitar finally go down as you see the Vedmak finally drop into half armor. It looks like the Oneiros was finally jammed for one cycle, but the Vedmak has just got a shit ton of drones on it and is staying alive. Falcon now going down, uh, and then uh, possibly the winner next, possibly the Kitsune. I mean, they really did bring all the Kaldari jamming ships they could possibly fit into a single comp. So props to them for that, even if uh, some nerds may not call it particularly e honourable. Uh, that Lashak is doing fine. The entire Abandoned Park team is fine. They will be sailing through to the next round, where they will be facing the winner of Fraternity and Gangbang team. The most of that's up next. The most important thing here is with two minutes remaining, can a band apart kill a flag navy scorpion? That would be some nice loot. Definitely, but will they have enough time to loot it as well, as they're now focusing on the scorpion? I mean, you know, two minutes, even if it's got an ASB, I don't see this Scorp Navy surviving, especially when that Lashak spools up, it's doing max damage like it's already in a quarter shield, you know, it's got the Kronos on it as well, that is just so much damage. Yeah, I haven't yet to see the Scorpion boost, it looks like it's just entirely fit for buffer. And with that, that'll probably be the killing blow that ends this match. Yep, yeah, just gotta watch the Stork and the Badger die at last. It looks like the Badger is right in the middle, so uh, it will not be escaping and running away forever. Let's see if the Stork tries to. Yet the Stork is running, but it's got a Sinesis on its tail uh, trying to catch it down. There goes the Badger through its shield, um, and then the Stork as well. A real chaos. Actually, an old friend of mine from Waffles. I didn't realize he'd gone to Centipede Caliphate. Uh, maybe he just wanted to be on their AT team, or maybe he's found a new home there. We shall see. Um, uh, he is doing his best to run away, 
but uh, he cannot win his friends the match at this point, unfortunately. Maybe being from Pan Farm, he can do the useful thing and jump out the edge of the arena and manage to break the world record for distance gone from the centre of the arena with those micro jump units. Yeah, he can certainly try, but it looks like that he is grappled and webbed and muted, so he's not going to be able to make it that far. He is going through his shield now, going through his armor, and there he goes down. And we Good will game. see you in not very much time at all for, I believe, will be the final match on this stream for the day. And that is the match um, ooh, of place. Fraternity and Gangbang Team. That's it, Fraternity Gangbang Team. That's 1740, last match of the day on this stream. See you guys in a little bit.